Hey, good Friday afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Friday's market wrap up here at Top Gun Options. Matthew Buckley, call sign Wiz. And what, a, what an incredible week, man. We have a lot to debrief. I uh, had a great brief this morning at 10 a.m. with uh, Dr. Uh, Martin uh, Polanco uh, and Punky former Navy SEAL operator for 30 years, uh, and they briefed us about what they, uh, the work they do at the Mission uh, Within. So make sure you go to the uh, Top Gun Options YouTube page if you want to watch uh, that uh, replay. A quick brief about uh, our No Fallen Heroes documentary project, along with uh, Punky and Doc talking about uh, what they do and the treatments that they provide. I strongly recommend uh, you watch that. Got a lot of great feedback uh, in the ready room about it, and uh, there were some great questions going around, and Looks like uh, it's just incredible. It's just an incredible uh, feeling to be part of this movement, part of this shift, part of this change, uh, and to see politicians from both sides of the aisle uh, standing up to do this, from Rick Perry to uh, – you know, uh, Congressman Elzey, who's a former Hornet guy, uh, Marcus Luttrell, well, his brother uh, is a former SEAL who's running for Congress in Texas, Dan Crenshaw down in Texas, and then, you know, Democrats in Oregon and California and even in Texas. So, you know, when the two political parties agree on something, you know, write down the date and time <laughs> because it's probably a, a good idea. So couldn't be more humbled and honored to be uh, a part of this movement uh, and this project. I just, uh, I feel blessed. Uh, I remember on my gray day uh, down there, uh, writing down the word disciple in my journal. Uh, didn't know what it meant. I was just in my gray day, in my fog, just writing stuff down, and uh, and now I know what it means. Uh, going to save lives. We're going to save the lives, uh, not uh, only of special uh, uh, forces veterans and, and fighter pilots, but every veteran. And then, uh, you know, vet, veterans can be the lead the way, man. If if we can make peace uh, with ourselves, with our demons, uh, and and kind of lead the way, hopefully the rest of the country and the world uh, can as well. I'll tell you, man. If uh, if everybody. Yeah, was able to 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 kind of frame this or, or be a part of this shift, man. I guarantee you, guarantee you, there wouldn't be any war, famine, uh, homeless people. It's just, it, it it's that incredible and it's that uh, powerful. If you're interested, like I said, you can go in, into the writing room and go ahead and post your uh, uh, post your interest. There's a bunch of people in here, civilian wise who are interested uh, in uh, in pursuing the medicine. Okay, uh, let me fall on my sword a little bit. I mean, I was right, but I, I was wrong. <laughs> so what, what did I say about Amazon? Rip your face off rally, implosion, rip your face off rally. I said it would implode. I said it would come back. Uh, I had, on Monday, folks, right here, I, I, I sold 3450 calls. And they were kind of bleeding for about two days. I'm like, I'm fine, man. They're, they're perfect. I sold those calls and brought in 27 grand, right? I told you they'd go under 3450, but did I listen to me? No. <laughs> what did I get out of my Amazon uh, 34? Uh, I mean, look at this. Rip your face off. Sold the 3450s here. And for two and a half days, I'm like, it's coming back. It's going to come back. I guarantee it's going to come back. And it did. I got in my 3450 calls at like... Uh, what's it? let me pull up today bought to close at like 9 48 a.m <laughs> so if i had listened to me instead of buying those calls back and losing 9500 bucks i would have made about 27 grand or pretty damn close to it 20 20 to 25 grand if i had let these things and clo closed them somewhere down here so lesson learned to whiz uh listen to whiz uh, so instead of bringing in a total of you know, like thirty-five thousand dollars this week in Amazon short calls, as of me briefing this, eleven thousand three hundred ninety-seven bucks. But the underlying getting hammered. So not happy, super happy with. Well, you're not happy with making eleven thousand three hundred ninety-seven bucks. Yeah, of course I am. Nobody's gone broke taking a profit, and that's just the wrong mindset to have. But when you're an instructor, when you're supposed to instruct and teach and lead, and uh, part of that involves unzipping your fly and, and showing where you screwed up, and I did screw up. I briefed it. It said it would happen. It happened, and I didn't listen to me. So I wanted to, uh, to brief that and fall on my sword uh, a little bit. Welcome aboard. Uh, we did a uh, – yesterday at 1 o'clock, we did a, a lifetime brief. I opened up the door to four new lifetime members since uh, uh, somebody had already grabbed a slot the, the week before. And we got – I think we're full. Uh, uh, Brent, uh, it, welcome on board. Uh, he just checked into the group. He introduced himself. Uh, and then uh, Chris – 
uh, Proven, call sign Kid is in. Hey, hey, Brent, I'm new of us today. Fist bump to the new guys. So welcome aboard. And then uh, Charles uh, is coming on board uh, next week. He is uh, uh, opening an LLC uh, first. He spoke to a Raven, uh, our, one of our partners over at uh, Traders Accounting, uh, because he wanted to like trade through an LLC and all sorts of stuff like that. So I, I turned him over to Raven last night, and they hooked him up with how to structure stuff. So uh, wait, one, two, three, four. I think that's good. I think we got everybody. But uh, the Hunters is still open. So if you want to join our uh, Hunters uh, a self directed investment squadron, we're still good to go. 30, 33 folks in here. Uh, this is still open. Uh, you can go to uh, Hunters SDIS monthly for the 497. I'll put the link uh, to that uh, uh, underneath uh, my, th this video uh, from today. So the Hunters is still wide open. It's obviously uh, less expensive than the uh, lifetime membership, but you just get this. You don't get everything uh, in the lifetime uh, membership uh, from the Max Afterburner uh, to the uh, crypto products we're launching next year to the non fungible token to the, the lifetime is the better deal, folks. So uh, uh, one, two, three, four. I think we got five, four or five. If you emailed me, I, I have one person. That, oh, that's what it is. I, I have an email like, please hold this slot for me. So I think we have five. If you haven't emailed me by today, I said I'd close the lifetimes for this quarter on Friday. Uh, then you got to wait until next quarter. Uh, report, Biden administration plans on advising Ukraine to hand over territory to Russia. Let, I'm going to let that headline sink in. I mean, this headline isn't shocking since the Biden administration has handed Texas and Arizona and New Mexico and Southern California essentially back to Mexico, right? Our, our own borders are wide open. So, of course, Biden's going to say, you know what, just let Putin have it so it doesn't get ugly. Can you believe this? Well, of course you can believe this. Weakness invites aggression. Mumbles make Biden and cackles uh, Kamala. Are you kidding me? Anybody see Mumbles or Kamala today apologizing for supporting Jesse Jesse Smollett, a race baiting racist and a convicted felon as of today. What a disgusting, disgraceful chapter in our nation's history. Anybody with a brain within hours of that happening and kind of piecing together what happened knew it was a hoax and a hate crime. You know what the penalty for that should be? It should be the penalty of what your so-called attackers would have gotten. It's a disgrace, not one apology, right? Ready, fire, aim out of our so-called leaders. It's a disgrace. I can't wait till Joe Biden gets served uh, by uh, Kyle Rittenhouse. Call him a white supremacist. Anyway, moving on. Uh, this is how you know you're in bizarro market. This headline alone, folks, I woke up this morning, got my meditation on, saw this headline, and I'm like, there go the futures right down me, and you're wrong, Wiz. There go the futures right through the roof. Stocks. This headline, this is how you know you're in bizarro market. Stocks rise after inflation nears a 40-year high. The last time inflation was this high was I was 12, right? My sister Monica was still alive the last time inflation was this high. Here's the bad. Inflation data could influence the Fed's timeline for reducing stimulus. Duh. Rising inflation keeps pressure on the Fed to dial back stimulus faster. Uh, double duh. Folks, I told you. I wrote a book about this called COVID Crash. I warned you the Fed is completely lost it and out of control. They needed to be cranking interest rates six months ago, let alone stopping the ta uh, the 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 you know, the punch bowl. They kept filling the punch bowl. They're still filling the punch bowl. $120 billion a month. This dude is going to have to not tap the brakes. He's going to have to come to a full stop. They're going to have to end the taper or, or uh, end the stimulus. They're going to have to taper uh, and then raise interest rates. This is going to get ugly. But if you listen to Comrade Kramer on CNBC and all the other liberal media about inflation's great because it means you have a roaring economy. Folks, the economy is not this. The economy is not the stock market. The stock market is not the economy. First of all, only stupid people who don't understand economics believe that raging inflation is great. But I'll, I'll leave that alone because I care about the market. Here's a wisdom you have to know. When interest rates are high, stocks will die. When interest rates are low, stocks will grow. 
Stocks have been growing, exploding for the past couple of years because interest rates have been artificially kept low. Not artificially, they've done it on purpose. Uh, Jerome Powell, Janet Yellen, Ben Bernanke have just just totally destroyed people like my mom, man, who planned on living in their older age on fixed income and this and savings. and uh, No, you got to get in the stock market, man. Zero interest rates. It's a party. The party is going to end. Jim Cramer and all these other liberal enablers are saying the sophomore year of Joe Biden's presidency is going to be insanely fantastic. I absolutely take the other side of that bet. I'd love to be wrong. I don't like seeing an economy and a market implode because people get hurt. To be honest with you, at Topkin Options, I love seeing the market implode because we pounded into the dirt. As an options trader, I don't care if the market's going up, down, or sideways. I can potentially make money. But guess what? Markets go down a hell of a lot faster than they go up, and I absolutely love down markets. As a trader, as an American, I think it sucks because people are going to get wiped out. All these Robin Hooders sitting in their basement eating Cheetos on their, uh, you know, trading have, haven't seen a down market yet. They haven't seen crypto implode. It's, it's coming. And this type of ridiculousness, he is going to take over Ukraine. China's going to take back Taiwan, and Israel and Iran are going to go at it. So yay for his sophomore year. We are in a lot of trouble. Amazon, folks, predicted it was going to do this. It's finding some support here at the 50-day. I think uh, we're getting this out of our system and getting ready for a massive Santa Claus rally. So if uh, if if I were you, and I'm not, I'm me, I would load the boat on some Amazon here as we get ready for another run up to 3,700 uh, into the end of the year. And then all bets are off. I, I think that we will absolutely have a February shit show just like we do uh, every year. But uh, until then, remember, another wisdom is the market only cares when it cares. It doesn't care right now about raging inflation. It's going to care when the Fed starts cranking up interest rates. I guarantee you that's going to happen. If I'm wrong, I'll eat my hat. And I'll trade it higher. I, I have no FOMO, uh, folks. I, I don't get so close to my position. Colin Powell said this. Don't ever get so close to your strategic position that when confronted with you know, new data, you don't change it. I can change in the blink of an eye, but I'm, man, we get, we get paid to trade off the right side of the chart. No broker I know lets you trade off the left side of the chart. You got to look forward, man. And when I look forward, I see clouds. I ain't bullish uh, at all. But if that's yay, then, then uh, I, I am all in. All right, guys, I got to get going. Um, great week. Interesting week. A lot going on, especially with Amazon and, you know, telling you this was going to happen. This is what Amazon does. Explosion, implosion, explosion, implosion, explosion, implosion, explosion, implosion, explosion, implosion, explosion. Or keep imploding. We could. I don't think we're going to. I think Amazon has their uh, trims, their sales trimmed appropriately, uh, getting ready for uh, – the C conditions. Before I go, this was funny. Tech fund manager Dan Niles, smart dude, uh, says the S&P could drop by 20% next year as the Fed hikes rates. Clearly, Dan's a Topkin Options member. I've been saying this forever. I said we will have a 20 – at the beginning of this year, what did I say? In the next year to two, I gave you a date, a range. I said in the next year to two, so we're at the one-year point in my prediction, uh, we will see a minimum of a 20% implosion in the S&P 500 and a recession. We will have a bear market and a recession next year. Jim Cramer, next year is going to be the best year ever in the market. Somebody's going to be right. Somebody's going to be wrong. Guess what? That's what makes a market. Okay. All right, man. Good stuff. Like I said, if you want to check out the Mission Within Brief, it's on the YouTube page. Other than that, have a great rest of your day. Happy hunting. Make sure you hedge, and God bless you. Namaste.